Hello! In one of our previous videos, we showed you how to get started with the NOT and our Bluetooth tags with general guidelines. In this video, we'll demonstrate one of the specific use cases. How do we get a notification on your phone whenever the tag gets out of the KNOTS Bluetooth range and whenever the tag gets back into the KNOTS Bluetooth range? For example, we can attach our tag to our keys or our toolbox or any other object and we want to get notified whenever the, this object leaves the Bluetooth range and whenever it comes back. This can be achieved with the help of IFTTT services. In short, the service allows you to send HTTP POST requests to the generated URL, and that in a turn will trigger an app notification. In our example, it will be either the tag is within the range or the tag is not in range pop-up on your phone. So let's get started. A written guide is also available, by the way, so make sure to check it out as well. You can do the steps using mobile phone app, or your preferred web browser. After you create an account on their portal, log in. In the right upper corner of your screen, click on the Create button. In the If This field, click on the Add button. Choose a service called Webhooks. Select it and select the second option, Receive a web request. Now you'll need to enter an event name, like for example, tag in range event create trigger and once again click on the add button in the then that field select an action called notifications and select the first action available to you send a notification from the app now you just have to finish the setting by clicking on the create action button Continue and finish. This will create an applet, but we will need to use two applets. So make sure to create a second, almost identical applet with the only difference, the event name. We have done this beforehand. And as you can see, under my applets, we have two applets with the only difference being the event name that we set up. Tag is in range and tag is not in range. The other important thing that we need to check is the URL generated for us. We can do that under the Explore tab. Search a service called Webhooks, click on it, and click on the Documentation button. You will see the page that indicates your URL in here. And basically, this is the URL that will you will need to use when making a post or get web requests. After you're done, we can get started with the Knot configuration. Knot can be configured in three easy steps. Go to the IoT Bluetooth section and to the Scanner tab. Make sure that filter duplicate setting is set to keep newest. Apply and OK the change. This will make sure that only the latest payloads from any MAC address is stored under the Advertising Report tab. So if we check Advertising Report section now, we will see that only the latest payload gets stored in here. We have confirmed actually with this tab as well that our tag is alive and it is telling us all sorts of information about itself. Now, the second step is to import the script from our guide. We have already done it and we've named the script IFTTT. Edit the script and you'll need to alter three lines in here. The first line is the MAC address line, the tax MAC address line, where we need to input the MAC address of the tag that we want to monitor. The second line is where you need to change the URL that was generated for you by the EFTTT portal for the tag is not in range event. And the third line is where you need to input the URL for the tag is in range event. Apply and OK. The third step is to set up a scheduler. Go to the system scheduler tab and add a new scheduler here. In the on event field, type in system script run and name of the script. Set up an interval to, for example, 10 seconds, apply, and OK. With this, Rotorized configuration part is done. 
What is going to happen next? The scheduler will run the script every 10 seconds as we configured it. Our script will check the timestamps of the Bluetooth packets. When was the time when our tag's MAC address broadcasted its latest payload? And then the knot will compare this time against the actual system clock time of the router. In case the tag broadcasted the payload within the one minute interval from the current router S system time, a tool fetch post will be initiated once and a phone notification tag is in range will be triggered. In case the knot runs the script and it so happens that the latest packet was received more than one minute ago, it will confirm that the knot did not receive any payloads for a whole minute and that will be considered an out of range condition. Tool fetch post will be initiated once again and phone notification tag is not in range will be triggered. Let's confirm the results. We have our object and the tag attached to it. As soon as we enable the scheduler and our tag is within the knot's Bluetooth range, a notification is triggered, our object is in the Bluetooth range. It will not trigger again to avoid spamming notifications. Notifications will trigger only in case the condition changes from not in range to in range and vice versa. Oh, looks like somebody took my object. A few moments later. Yeah, they definitely run away. Thank you for watching this video. And if you did like the content, please subscribe.